Today marks the two-year anniversary of the devastating earthquake that hit Haiti in January 2010. And despite massive amounts of money and pledges of reconstruction, more than half a million people remain homeless. Many residents say progress has been too slow. On Wednesday, thousands filled the streets of Port-au-Prince. Two years after, nothing has been done in the poorest neighborhoods. As a citizen within the poor neighborhoods, we have found that there was not a policy for housing, and that's why so many people have died. That's Otelier Herman from the Center of Respect and Promotion of Human Rights speaking with NTD Television. In an assessment released this week, the United Nations acknowledged the struggles and progress, but said achievements had been made. Five million cubic meters of debris, or half of the amount from the earthquake, has been cleared. Child immunization rates are higher than before the earthquake, and the population in tent camps has decreased. For more, we speak with radio DJ Carl Pedra. After the earthquake in 2010, Pedra was one of the first to send out updates and photos. Although he was living in his car at the time, Pedra, who is a DJ at the station Radio 1 in Pettonville, continued to update survivors through radio broadcasts. He joins us now on mobile phone from Port-au-Prince. Welcome back to FSRN. I'm, I'm really happy to be to be here with you today to speak two years later about what happened in Haiti and what the situation is like right now. We're very glad to have you on the program as well. We first spoke shortly after the earthquake struck in January 2010. And now at that time, you described people who were made homeless by the quake going into your radio station for services, for refuge. What is the area like now where your station is? Uh, now in Pitchmoreville, uh, we see some changes because uh, most of those people who were living in tents uh, and in public squares in Pitchmoreville were relocated to some other places not long ago. Uh, in Pitchmoreville, things seem to be better, but in the main town, the capital of, Port of, uh, of Haiti, Port-au-Prince, that's not the same situation because till now we still have People living in tents in front of the National Palace. We still have other uh, uh, house and rubbles. You mentioned people still living in tents in front of the National Palace. Housing, of course, is a primary issue now. The UN says that 65% of those in tents in 2010 have been relocated, yet recent UN figures also show that at least half a million people remain in tents. What are you hearing about housing from your listeners and those in your community, not just in Pettonville, but in, in other areas? Uh, some of them are not really happy because uh, what happened, we all know that the international community made a lot of promise uh, and um, collect a lot of money for Haiti. And when you hear that Haiti has billions of dollars uh, available for its reconstruction, you would not never imagine that two years later you would be at that same situation. And even worse, because um, in October 2010, we had the cholera outbreaks that killed more Haitians and that put them, those people living in very bad sanitation situation, uh, 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 they, they, they were more exposed to disease and the situation was... Uh, uh, got worse. So um, they're not happy about that. Now, in the rebuilding effort, we're talking about large amounts of money, both government and from NGOs. For example, the American Red Cross raised some $480 million after the earthquake. U.S. Congress allocated $1.14 billion for Haiti last year. From what you can see there on the ground, is this translating into real work, real differences for people living there right now? No, I don't think so. If, we, if we're talking about reloc the relocalization of some people out of tents, yes. But if we're talking about um, more, more uh, uh, reconstruction buildings or other big projects to improve people's lives, there's no sign of that. For example, we don't have uh, an hospital in, 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 in any construction two years after. We don't have uh, work going on on the ground to provide clean water to people in the capital of Haiti. We don't have anything uh, going on in the countryside uh, with that money collected. Uh, that's those 
kind of question that we're asking two years after. Coral Pedra, when we spoke in January 2010, you were offering important information to your listeners about food, about shelter, basic information, but you also spoke about the importance of playing music, of keeping the spirit strong. Two years later now, after the earthquake, how would you describe the mood, the spirit of Haitians, of the people you're speaking with today? The mood is, the mood is great. I think that we, 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 we get the, the good mood back because we are strong people. But when that day came, uh, you remember where you were, uh, how, how different it could be. There's so much going on in our minds right now. And January 12th, I don't think it will be uh, a happy day for, for any Asian who were in Haiti in, in that special day. Carol Pedra is a radio DJ with the station Radio 1 in Pettonville, Haiti. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for the pleasure.